Hi guys. It's Sherry. Hey. Very, very, very rarely have ever vlogged. Uh, only once, I think. Well, once from the hospital, well, not during my surgery. And once when I was coming back from Ohio, I think two or three years ago. Um, sorry, the angle's not great. I, uh, I apparently bought a cheapo phone dock for the car. And I don't know, the way my dashboard is made, I just couldn't find any place to put it. And then when I finally did, it just was not a good place. In terms of, I couldn't find any place flat to put it. And I uh, finally found a place, but like I said, I can't get it to do that. So I'll have to work on it some more. Actually, maybe I could get it to do that. But then you'd be watching it wonky. Anyway, I am off to Bed Bath & Beyond. We just got a Bed Bath & Beyond here. Last year, and I have only been there once, and that was when my mother was here right before my surgery in October. And I got a really nice coupon. And it's a glorious day that I have no appointments and stuff. So I decided that's what I was going to do. So I wanted to tell you, because uh, well, I guess it is almost time for my second month update for Retin-A, pretty close, um, but I just wanted to just quickly report that I have started to use it on more of my face, and as I was about to apply it for the first time to more than just my chin and my nose, I thought to myself, you know, let's do this. It may look a little wonky, but it would be nice for, uh, you know, seeing results. So, what I did was, I took it from my nose over almost halfway into my cheek, but I didn't take it all the way over. And on my right cheek, where the vast majority of my dark spots are, I figured it would really be a good way to see, you know, the difference. And it's only been a week weeks maybe not quite two weeks that I have been doing that and I have already seen a difference in the dark spots that are like right here um, it's not a huge difference that yet you don't look at it and you go oh my god it's like black and white no it's not that big a difference yet but it is a difference and I'm really happy about that and then on my forehead instead of just having it come to my eyebrows and maybe the first uh, wrinkle on my forehead I'm taking it also halfway up my forehead so that hopefully there will be you know an appreciable noticeable difference between the lower half of my forehead and the upper half of my forehead the things I do to review things properly you know what I mean this is just who I am I'm gonna walk around looking like a half and half creature for you guys <laughs> because um, like Angie I I may not do the amount of research that Angie does she's just amazing she puts an amazing amount of time into it but I do believe in testing something in a way that can show results if there are going to be results and um, Onto the main road, US 1. And isn't as much traffic today because it's Monday. But when I went to get Jasmine and take her home on Saturday, oi, and we went downtown to walk on the boardwalk, and it was slammed. 
we just looked out. Everything was parked up for blocks and blocks. And we drove down this one side street. And the first car in the first spot was pulling out right as we were coming down to the end of the street and about to turn around and leave. So it was just serendipity. We were, I was really happy. Not as big a deal to an 11 year old as it is to a 64 year old who just had knee surgery. So uh, very, very happy. And then what may be even happier is that I was able to pay it forward when we left. There was an older lady and she was, had just dri driven up as we were getting in the car and she, her face lit up. And I rolled my window down and I said, you know, paying it forward because this is exactly what happened for us. And she laughed and she said thank you and we, you know, told, we told her have a good day. So it was nice to be able to do that. Alright, so I'm coming to the light that I'm going to turn on for um, Bed Bath & Beyond. So I may have to shut up here for a minute or two because I've only been there once and uh, there's so much traffic in this area because of all the outlet malls. Beach and outlet malls, they just go together. That is the big business here, the outlet malls. Okay, so I go over here and I gotta turn here. Yeah, there it is. Oh, not bad. Wow, there's hardly any traffic over here. Sweet. We have a fresh market now. I had never heard of that. But, um, been in it twice. It's always busy. Um, and it was nice. It, you know, it's pricey. But, uh, nice. Okay, here we are at the bed, the bath, and the beyond. So I'm going to park. Oh, it looks like I could actually get a good parking spot, maybe. I'm a lazy butt. I like getting a parking spot as close as I can. And that gives me more time. Oh, I was wrong. I didn't really get a spot right up front, but pretty close. I like to save my leg for the, for the shopping, if you know what I mean. Here we are. Trade my driving glasses from sunglasses. Oh, there it is, right in the in my back window. All right, so I will see you in a bit. I may take a shopping in there. We'll see. See you in a bit.